Hey guys, so if you've watched any of my past videos, you saw I was pulling a Mitsubishi Glant in my garage. Had a transmission issue. Um, I got the original transmission out and I decided to pull it apart just to see what was going on with it. And the planetary gear, uh, one of the pins had come out of the planetary gears and completely destroyed the planetary. So the planetary gear was destroyed. There was tons of little metal bits all through the transmission. And the just getting a new planetary gear in addition to clutch plates and everything else, um, it was going to be way more than, than what it was worth. I did end up finding a used transmission. One of the big problems with these uh, transmissions in the V6 Galants, uh, the transmission model is an F4A51. But one of the big issues is there's a wave washer that Mitsubishi tried doing a different design for this wave washer between low and reverse gear. And what happens is that a little piece or multiple pieces of that wave washer will break. And there's a flaw in the filter, which allows those little strips of metal to get through the filter and into the pump and it causes the pump to explode. At which time you don't have a transmission anymore. The transmission will not work if it's not pumping fluid. So um, I decided I was gonna check just to see if it had the old style wave washer that likes to break or the new style that's much thicker and a single piece. And um, so I started tearing the, the used transmission down and I got down and there was no wave washer whatsoever. Um, and the guy did tell me that the rear cover was damaged and chipping. He pulled the rear cover off, pulled the clutch plates out and stuff just to see if anything was damaged. Everything looked good, so we put it all back together. Um, but I asked him if he left this washer out or if I needed to be concerned with finding it in the pump. He said, no, I probably just accidentally left it out. Well, turns out I found little pieces in the pump and or a little tiny piece in the pump which caused the pump to break into like six or seven pieces and then i found a, quite a few pieces in the filter i found a couple more pieces in the valve body anyway so i got all that cleaned out i had a new style wave washer out of my original transmission so i used that um, put it all back together and was getting ready to install it and then realized that the transmission that i got came out of a Mitsubishi Eclipse. Used the same transmission, same engine as the Galant, the V6, but apparently the differential is different. So I'm gonna show you what I found and what to watch out for if you're swapping an F4A51 transmission from a different model into, you know, a Galant or vice versa. In the transmission, in the bell housing, there is, this goes on like so. You can see right here, this transmission had this little plug in it. Well, this plug is where a speed sensor goes. So I removed this plug and I went to drop the speed sensor down in there. And I noticed that the, on the differential, this is the differential that was in there. Um, the, the speed sensor has a gear on it that's supposed to mesh with the gear that's right in this area. Well, you can see this one has no gear. It's a nice, smooth surface. It's not going to engage any teeth on a speed sensor. Where my original differential, you can see these teeth here. So, me thinking, eh, everything's the same. I'll just throw this one in there. Put it in, bolted the bell housing back on, got it all sealed up, put the transmission in the car, and I went to drive it and I didn't even hardly get out of my driveway and it was making the worst kind of sounded like a baseball card in bicycle spokes sound if you're familiar with that um, brought it back in the garage jacked it up put it on jack stands um, disabled the ABS system and put it in drive and I had my wife sit in it to make sure it wasn't gonna drive off that way she could put the brakes on if needed but the noise was coming from this differential so what it is, is my original transmission had 200 and some odd thousand miles on it. And this used transmission supposedly only has about 95,000 miles. So I've got this gear here that meshes with this gear. In this transmission, this has 95,000 miles. This has 210,000 miles. So there's a little bit of difference in wear. Um, I didn't think anything of it, but it's definitely an issue. So I'm gonna show you I've got gloves on just because there's some sharp edges here, but 
just turning this by hand, I've got the, the shifter in neutral. So that is the sound it was making. I, I never got it over 10 miles an hour when I was driving it down my driveway and then I went down the street just a little ways and yeah, it got really noisy. And I, I never even thought about the difference in wear between the two. So I'll throw the this one in here. This is one that only has 95,000. And I'll test it out. Now I can feel just a little bit of like tooth chatter. But some of that may be because this other end isn't supported by a bearing. So it's flexing a little bit. But way quieter. Problem being, this, I need a gear on here to drive my speed sensor. Luckily, this entire outer ring will come off and bolt to the other differential. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to swap them over. But anyway, guys, just something to keep in mind if you're swapping an F4A51 transmission from one year make model to a different year make model. Even make and model, different years, you may run into this issue with there not being a speed gear or a speedometer gear on the, made onto the differential. Uh, keep in mind that you are going to have different gear lash, especially between um, non-matched sets of gears, and they will be noisy. So anyway, thanks for watching. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, leave them down below, and we'll talk to you later. Bye.